From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good morning. Hope you had a nice weekend so far. If you're a heat lover, you're going to be very happy about today, right? Today's kind of the beginning of the rewarming trend. And who are we kidding? We haven't been cool at all. We've been toasty, but we're going to be back warming up pretty quickly here over the next several days. Through the valley, we're going to be back in the upper 90s here by this afternoon with pretty much clear skies. A few patchy clouds out there. Siskiyou and Modoc County, very similar story, will be in the upper 80s with maybe a few areas of patchy showers or rumbles of thunder. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Eastern Mountains and Plumas County, very similar story and along the coast will be here in the upper, I would say upper 60s, maybe near 70 there, but 63 to 66 is kind of what you can expect. So let me show you the future cast because this is kind of what I was talking about just a second ago when I said we might see some isolated convection out east and in the higher elevations along the mountains. You can really see that pop up uh, through this afternoon, right? That's talking by peak heating, as we call it. Notice out there in the eastern mountains, Modoc County, and maybe as far north as Mount Shasta City, but generally the ring around the valley and out east, you might see some of these thunder showers pop up. And to be honest with you, I think they might stay showery. Not seeing any huge indications of that, but you know, one or two stray lightning strikes is all it takes. So we'll watch that very carefully, but not seeing anything worth planning your day around. All in all, for pretty much all of us, gonna be hot, going to be dry, and that's the story for the next seven days. And especially as we head through tonight and into tomorrow, we're gonna stay toasty. And that's what I was talking about at the beginning. We're beginning the warming trend today, and that's gonna carry out through Monday, through Tuesday, through Wednesday, which is what we were talking about yesterday. And we're really gonna start seeing the effects here soon. Now, let me show you the big picture and give you a little bit of a, an idea of what we can expect for the next seven days. So first of all, this is what we're looking at for the highs. Notice there, through the valley, those upper 90s, give it one to two degrees of wiggle room, you might very well see 97 or 98 mixed in there. Along the coast, lower 60s down south in Humboldt County. Del Norte County, though, you might see some, you know, mid to upper 60s, maybe near 70. But for the rest of us in the ring around the valley, as I call it there, we're going to be in the 80s and maybe lower 90s there, especially down from Susanville down to Doyle. 88, 89 degrees. Now let me also show you the forecast gusts and the humidity because this kind of gives you a rough proxy for the fire danger, which is still there. And here's why we do stay a little bit gusty here, especially down in the valley with winds still out of the south there down south towards Red Bluff and Chico. Guts picking up here as we head through this afternoon and evening, probably in the 15 to 25 range. So definitely worth watching those open sparks for here. Very typical June setup that much is for sure. Then, of course, through tonight, we build that humidity just a little bit more here. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of holds that trend. We're going to have to watch that very, very closely. Of course, Mike will watch that diligently, especially as that warming trend takes over in a big, big way here in that exact same time frame. So really something to watch there. And let me show you why that warming trend's taking over. I, I said this yesterday, it's kind of the anti-pineapple express, the anti-coconut connection, if you will. Usually we'd get this low pressure jet into the north state, but nope. That's not the case. We're getting this Pacific warm dome here up into the area, and that's going to be warming us up for the first half of the week. But do see signs of life off to the north. That's this system here. That's going to slowly inch off to the south and east through the end of the week and might cool us off a little bit here and add some variation to the forecast. But I would say for the next seven days or so, don't expect this to impact us too much. I think the heat is going to be the story here locally as we head into the second week of June. Here's your seven-day outlook for across the area. We'll start with the valley, and you can really see those triple digits take hold through Monday, through Tuesday, through Wednesday, and probably maybe even a Thursday as well. Give it one to two degrees of wiggle room, and I could easily envision a world in which Thursday even sees maybe 99 or 100 as well. But no doubt about it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are going to be the blistering days here of the next several days, back to triple digits like we saw over the last several days. Along the coast, we're going to be holding steady somewhere in the upper 60s, a little further inland, though, and you got those lower 90s taken back over. Same for Trinity County. Wouldn't shock me if we see a 99, maybe even 100 in some of the hot spots out there towards Weaverville out there in portions inland there. Then, of course, Mount Shasta City, Siskiyou County, and Modoc County. Again, we're watching the possibility out here in Plumas County and the Eastern Mountains as well for maybe a stray shower, and we'll watch if it's convective where we get maybe a lightning strike or two, but that chance is pretty low here over the next several days. I think we're going to stay steady in the upper 80s and lower 90s in the big picture here, and especially through Monday through Wednesday. So that's why I mentioned in those days, because those are definitely going to be the hottest days of the week. It's only towards the end of the week and next weekend that we start seeing signs of a cool down with that northwesterly flow coming back in. Thanks for joining me for this forecast update. I'll be back with you later today for more, fresh from the Weather NorCal Command Center, and I'll speak to you soon.